What's up people and welcome back to Football Daily. Seeing as we're one month into the summer transfer window, let's take a look at 10 of the smartest pieces of business we've seen so far. Let's go. 10. Nico Schlotterbeck to Borussia Dortmund Perhaps the busiest club in Europe this summer, Borussia Dortmund have swiftly reinvested the profits from the Erling Haaland sale in Karim Adeyemi, Sebastian Haller, Saleh Özcan and Nico Schlotterbeck, while picking up Niklas Süle from rivals Bayern Munich on a free. But while they are all great signings, Schlotterbeck is arguably the smartest. Along with Süle, the Freiburg sensation has the ability to fix Dortmund's troubles at the back, with BVB conceding 52 last term, their worst defensive performance in the league since 2008. An all-action centre-back, Schlotterbeck ranks highly in almost every metric, making over five tackles and interceptions, winning over four aerial duels, completing nearly five progressive passes and even taking over a shot each match. With experience of playing in a back four and a back three at Freiburg, the 22-year-old should also be able to adapt to Edin Terzic's tactics, but at such a young age remains raw. The more experienced and less rapid Sula will no doubt have to facilitate Schlotterbeck's aggressive approach, but if they can develop a good understanding, then the Schwarzgelder may have a pairing that can last for years to come. And if they can become watertight at the back, replacing Haaland's output in the final third won't be such a big burden. 9. Matthias Ginter to Freiburg but while Freiburg have lost one of Europe's most promising centre-backs, they have quickly addressed the hole left by Schlotterbeck by bringing Matthias Ginter back to the club on a free. Ginter initially left his boyhood club back in 2014, when he was just 20, moving to Dortmund in the same summer that he made Germany's World Cup winning squad. That was the biggest move he ever got, eventually going to Borussia Mönchengladbach after winning the Pokal under Thomas Tuchel in 2017. And while his consistent solid displays at Borussia Park attracted the attention of Tottenham, Inter Milan and even Bayern Munich, he's instead ended up back at Freiburg, who to be fair are on the up following the most impressive season in the club's history and moving into their new much larger stadium. Reuniting with Christian Streich, the manager who first brought him into the starting lineup all those years ago, makes for a great story, and fans will be hoping he can help uphold one of the best defences in Germany. 8. Mark Rocker to Leeds Having avoided the potential catastrophe of relegation, Leeds can now continue to build their squad under new manager Jesse Marsh while demanding high prices for the likes of Calvin Phillips and Rafinha. And they've been busy shoppers too, bringing both Brendan Aronson and Rasmus Christensen in from Salzburg to complement Jesse Marsh's system. But it's Mark Rocker, signed from Bayern Munich for £10.8 million, who we're most interested to see in the Premier League. Rocker struggled to impose himself in any way at Bayern, stuck behind Kimmich, Goretzka, Tolisso and Musiala in the midfield pecking order and playing just over 500 minutes of Bundesliga football in two years. But it was his excellent performances for a very poor Espanyol side that earned him his move to Germany in the first place and leads a welcoming a tidy midfielder to their ranks. Someone who placed in the top 10 players in La Liga for passes into the final third, progressive passes and tackles for two seasons running. Stylistically, he is more of a ball progressor than a ball winner and so it's no wonder Leeds are shopping for another defensive midfielder to compensate for Phillips' departure. But with any luck, we're about to see Rocker kickstart his career again under Mars. 7. Naya Fogued to West Ham After failing to secure a centre-back in January, West Ham's unlikely push for Champions League football took a serious knock. And so, ahead of the new season, strengthening the back line is a priority for manager David Moyes. And while they've had to pay over the odds to land Naya Fogued from Rennes, it should still be £30 million well spent. One of the best defenders in France over the last two years, Aguerd has the attributes Moyes is looking for. Excellent in the air, he wins 3.5 aerial duels a match and also possesses an excellent passing range, meaning he can aid Declan Rice and Thomas Socek in build-up. The fact he's left-footed will have no doubt been a factor in the decision to sign him too, giving Craig Dawson a more natural partner at the back. As the Hammers look to battle for a place in the Premier League top six for the third season running, gaps in the squad need to be filled. They are yet to find a striker, but securing a quality left-sided centre-half so early in the window is a promising sign. 6. Matthias Oliveira to Napoli Part of a Hetafe side that has struggled over the last two seasons, Uruguayan left-back Matias Oliveira has remained a consistent performer for the Spanish club in that time, and by many accounts was their best player last term along with striker Enes Unal. Developing his attacking game as a wing-back under Kike Sanchez-Flores, Oliveira ended the campaign with a goal in three assists, 
ranking fourth in the squad for goal involvements and earning himself an 11 million euro switch to Napoli. It's undoubtedly a huge move for the player, going from battling relegation to playing in the Champions League, but it's also an excellent piece of business for the partner pay, who need quality competition for Mario Rui, the most played squad member in Serie A last term. With the injury prone Fayuzi Goulam now off the books, Napoli's left side is overdue a refresh, and Oliveira should prove a useful asset to manager Luciano Spalletti. As you'd expect from a fullback or wingback in a side that averages just 40% possession, Oliveira's defensive numbers are strong, making almost five tackles and interceptions a match and ranking in the top 3% of players in his position for pressures, blocks and aerial duels. But crucially, he is also good in build-up, ranking second in the Hetafe squad for progressive passes and first for progressive carries. With Lorenzo Insigne gone and both Kaladu Koulibaly and Fabian Ruiz potentially departing too, Spalletti needs all the help he can get in this regard. 5. Bubakar Kamara to Aston Villa Linked with Man United, Atletico Madrid and Tottenham before putting pen to paper with Aston Villa at the end of May, Bubakar Kamara is one of the most promising young midfielders in Europe and due to his contract expiring at Marseille, has joined the Premier League outfit on a free. That in itself is smart business. Kamara is just 22 and is now a France international, and so even if the move doesn't work out, Villa will be able to turn a very decent profit on him. But there's a far bigger chance that the move turns out to be a success. Villa's midfield is good on a technical level but at times lacks steel, and Kamara could remedy this. Last term, he ranked second in the Marseille squad for tackles and interceptions per 90 on 4.7, with his positional awareness and recovery pace essential to protecting the Olympian back line. This figure beats everyone in the Villa squad bar Marvellous Nakamba, who has been injured for most of Steven Gerrard's young tenure. And it's all the more impressive given Marseille averaged 62% possession, while Villa see just 46% of the ball, meaning Kamara has fewer opportunities to win back possession than the likes of John McGinn and Douglas Louise. He is a far more effective defensive operator than those two, and having played in such a ball-dominant side under Jorge Sampaoli could help the villains retain more control in the centre too. He could be a dream for Gerrard to work with. 4. David Neres to Benfica David Neres's move to Shakhtar Donetsk in January could not have been timed worse, with Russia's invasion of Ukraine a month later seeing domestic competition brought to an infinite halt in the country. But luckily for Neres, he's had no problem finding a new home, with Benfica securing his services for around 15 million euros. And the Portuguese giants have got themselves an excellent pickup too. Neres has tons of Champions League experience, has the kind of flair to light up the Primaria Liga, and will help to compensate for the sales of Darwin Nunez and Everson Suarez. One of new manager Roger Schmidt's top targets this summer, let's hope to see Neres, who fell out of favour in his final year at Ajax, regain the kind of form that made him such an exciting prospect in the Netherlands. 3. Patrick Wimmer to Wolfsburg after a disastrous first half of the 21-22 season, Wolfsburg should now look to the new campaign with more optimism. They finished the campaign well clear of relegation, the January signing of Jonas Finn paid off, and they now have Niko Kovac as manager. And so far their summer transfer window is going well too. Polish wonderkid Jakub Kaminski was secured for €10 million Euros in January and will join the club officially ahead of pre-season, while the arrival of Kylian Fischer from Nuremberg will provide extra cover at right back. But their biggest coup is the signing of Patrick Wimmer from relegated Arminia Bielefeld. Wimmer registered three goals and six assists for the Bundesliga strugglers last term, impressive given his side ranked bottom of the league for expected goals. He also averaged 2.5 shots a match and completed more dribbles than anyone else in the German top flight. And at just 5 million euros, the 21-year-old has come at a bargain price. If all goes well, he can help Die Wolfe become an exciting attacking outfit next season. 2. Ryan Gravenberg to Bayern Munich Up at the top of the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich are faced with losing their star player, with Robert Lewandowski keen to leave the Allianz Arena, while Serge Gnabry could also depart with one year remaining on his contract. But in terms of signings, the German champions have been typically solid, securing a world-class attacker in Sadio Mane, bolstering the right-back slot for free with Nuzair Masraoui, and snapping up one of Europe's most talented young midfielders in Ryan Gravenberg. And if Gravenberg goes on to fulfil his potential, then his 18.5 million euro transfer will go down as one of the bargains of the century. An excellent ball carrier and passer who can pick up possession in deep areas and play through the press, the 20-year-old has the technical and physical attributes to blossom into a truly special player. He may not be a regular starter to begin with, while his defensive game probably still needs work, but by getting Gravenberg ahead of their rivals across Europe, Bayern have made one of the best long-term signings of the summer. 
One, Adam Klausek to Bayer Leverkusen. Another player arriving in the Bully with bags of potential is Czech forward Adam Hlorzek, who has joined his compatriot Patrick Schick at Bayer Leverkusen. And with Schick recently extending his contract until 2027, the pair could forge a formidable connection at the Bayer Arena. Hlorzek will have just turned 20 when the season starts, and yet already has around four years of senior level experience, clocking up 132 appearances for Sparta Prague since 2018. And while Schick is very much a goal scorer, Hlorzek is an adept creator. While he averaged almost a goal a game in 2021, he provided 13 assists in 21-22, playing primarily as a second striker. Also able to play on the left, the youngster will give Gerardo Seoani options next term. If they can hold on to their other talent, expect the Leverkusen attack to become even more fluid and exciting in 22-23. So those were our 10 smartest transfers of the summer so far, but what did you make of our selection and do you have any other shouts? Let us know in the comments below and we may follow up with a part two a month down the line. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to Football Daily if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.